So that's how you get enough calories on a raw vegan diet or a cooked vegan diet even by throwing in some cooked quinoa there. If you want to keep it raw, you don't even need that. But it's that simple. Just just add what you're eating to to your chronometer as you go through it and you'll be able to see what you're getting and what you're not getting. What's going on everyone? Ted Carr here. And in this video, we're going to talk about how to make sure you eat enough calories. Now, if you do have an eating disorder of some sort, it's very important to go and get help. But in this video, we're just going to talk about how to simply eat enough calories and make sure you're, you're actually eating enough calories. Because I see, uh, as I'm sure you do, people come in and out of the vegan scene. They come in and they just don't eat enough and they end up getting way too skinny. Whether or not they have an eating disorder is a whole other topic, but we're just going to talk about how to get enough calories on a vegan diet. And for that, we're going to use our trusty calculator here, trusty calculator here called chronometer. But let's talk about a calorie goal. How do we know how many calories we should be getting? Well, a great way to find out is just to go type in your body weight on Google. Go to google.ca, because I'm in Canada. And we're going to take your body weight, type in my body weight, which is 160, 160 pounds. And if I wanted to maintain my body weight right now, more or less, I'd be aiming for about, oops, <clears throat> I'd be aiming for about 16 calories per pound of body weight. So aiming for about 2,500 calories, boom. But if I was trying to gain weight, I would do 160. I'd take my body weight, I'd times it by 20, and I would aim for 3,200 calories a day. So if you are currently underweight and trying to gain weight, you're going to go for 20 calories per pound of body weight. If you're trying to maintain, you're going to go for 16. And if you're trying to lose weight, well, you go for you know 13 calories or 12 calories if you're in a rush. So that's it. Like I wouldn't go lower than 12 calories when you're trying to lose. And I wouldn't go higher than 16 if you're just trying to maintain, unless you're like super active. And then if you're trying to gain weight, you're aiming for 20 calories per pound of body weight. And that'll do the trick. That'll get you gaining weight. If you want to gain weight even faster, shoot. Just add more calories. Just make sure that uh, you're getting them from, you know, fruits and vegetables, healthy foods. And that's why chronometer was set to 2489. That's back when I weighed maybe like 155 pounds or something. So that's how you set a calorie target. We're going to click add food. And I'll show you how to hit all of your vitamins and minerals for the day, which show up down here. So let's say I'm going to have a, I'm gonna have a banana. And now you can scroll in here. You can see all the nutrients I'm getting. Okay. And let's say I want to add... I'm going to add some spinach to my banana smoothie. The spinach, I'm going to add, let's say, a bunch. Let's say I add two bunches of spinach to my smoothie. A lot of spinach. I like a lot of spinach in my smoothie. And bananas will bump this up to, let's say, with three bananas in the smoothie. So banana spinach smoothie. Might as well put some hemp seeds in there too. Good source of omega-3s. I like to put three tablespoons. Get all my omega-3s. And then got my smoothie there. Maybe I'll put some coconut water in there too. Coconut water. Put one cup of coconut water in there. Great. Now let's see what we got already. Bam. We already hit most of our nutrients for the day. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. So what else are we going to add in here to make sure we get all of our nutrients? Well, B12 is very low. So there's a couple ways of getting in B12. You could add it from nutritional yeast. You could just take a B12 supplement, but let's just say we're going to take it from nutritional yeast. Sure. Two tablespoons. Does that give us our B12 for the day? Yes, it does. Boom. Threw in some nutritional yeast. There's our B12. Now we're going to have a Brazil nut. Because Brazil nut gives us all of our selenium. So we just have one Brazil nut. And then boom, our selenium needs for the day are met. There we go. Sodium's a little low. What do we do? Throw in some celery. Make some celery juice or just eat some celery. Let's have, uh, I like 10 stalks of celery. Bam. Throw it, chop it up in your salad. Sodium's still a little low. So no problem. All we got to do is add a little bit of, of salt. Sea salt. Doesn't really matter. Let's add, I don't know, five dashes of salt. Does that sound good? Perfect. Good amount of salt for the day. Done. Um, calcium, it says calcium's a little low, so I mean, we can get calcium up quite a bit. Let's try some oranges. Oranges are pretty good source of calcium, I believe. Could be wrong. Let's just say we have, uh, oh, this is orange juice. Let's just go oranges raw. Let's have, uh, let's have three medium oranges. Does that do our calcium? Yeah, it does. Boom, shoots it up. Okay. And now protein's a little low, 50 grams of protein. How do we get more protein in there? Uh, well, it depends if you want to go raw or cooked. If you're going to do cooked vegan, then you throw in some quinoa. Uh, if you're going to do raw vegan, you want some protein, then some options. You mean you could throw in some more hemp seeds for sure. Uh, but the best bet's going to be like adding in more greens, like lettuce and, and things like this. And I mean, we already had uh, two bunches of spinach in our smoothie. Let's say we have a big salad for dinner. So we'll have a head, a head of lettuce. That'll add some protein for sure. That brings us up seven grams. It's pretty impressive. And then uh, what else we got for protein on a raw vegan diet? Um, let's see. If we're going to do raw, we want more protein. I mean, how many calories are we at? We're at 1,100 calories for the day. We'll come back to protein in a sec. Let's get our zinc up. Let's get our zinc up a little higher. 
So for zinc, pumpkin seeds are a great, great source. Pumpkin seeds. We will add uh, two tablespoons of pumpkin seeds. Wham, bam, just like that. And now oh, zinc is still a little low. Okay, well, the pumpkin seeds gave us 7% of our daily needs. Uh, what's another great source of zinc? We can just go on Google, type in top zinc foods, vegan diet. But I remember apricots being very, very high in protein, surprisingly. So if we were to have like 10 apricots and there's 5 grams of protein there, you know what else is high in protein, surprisingly? Watermelon. Watermelon is very high in protein. So if you had, uh, let's say, a medium, oh, it's not, it's not letting me pick a size of watermelon. So we got to do cups of watermelon. That's weird. Grams. Let's just go by calories. By 300 calories of watermelon, that's not very much. Let's go 600 calories of watermelon. Bam, a good amount of watermelon. Now, protein up to 74 grams, baby. Look at that. Look at that. Super, super high. And dude, we're hitting all of our freaking vitamins and minerals here for the most part. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's that's great. That's plenty of protein, 74 grams. That's plenty. You're good. And this we've only hit 1,800 calories for the day. So for me, at 160 pounds, if I'm trying to lose weight slowly and sustainably, 1,800 calories is like the perfect target for me. So I could eat this all in a day, feel very satisfied, and hit my protein goals and hit all of my vitamins and mineral goals all on a whole food, raw vegan diet. Look at that, raw vegan diet. Now, if you want to throw in some other food on top of that, boom, that protein is going to be even higher. Let's say you're going to add some cooked food in there. Let's say you're going to add some quinoa. So do, uh, let's just do two cups of quinoa. This is cooked quinoa. So that throws our protein up to 90 grams. Bam, 90 grams. But the watermelon, man, the watermelon did a... Uh, did us, did us really good. So there, now I'm at 2250 calories and almost at 100 grams of protein for the day. That's it. That's how you get enough calories on a raw vegan diet or a cooked vegan diet even by throwing in some cooked quinoa there. If you want to keep it raw, you don't even need that. But it's that simple. Just just add what you're eating to to your chronometer as you go through it and you'll be able to see what you're getting and what you're not getting. If you're worried about deficiencies, just look. Like you're worried about calcium, look how much calcium you're getting. Look where it's coming from. You look look at the copper, look at the iron, look at the magnesium, look at the manganese, look at the phosphorus. Like you can also go to, I believe you can go to uh, settings and you can go to minerals and you can turn some of them on like iodine, you can turn that on. But as it said, it gave a warning there saying some of the foods in the diary do not have iodine in there very much. Same with chromium. Our food database contains very sparse data for chromium. So in other words, you're likely to be low on chromium according to chronometer unless you you know pop in a supplement on there. So we leave these invisible, but molybdenum, molybdenum. If you guys want some molybdenum, go to tedcarboost.com. If you want all your minerals, actually, go to tedcarboost.com and you can get some daily green boost, a, uh, a greens, organic greens powder, best in the world super super good and it's like incredibly high in these trace minerals like boron vanadium molybdenum uh i'm not sure I, this must be like a super old label because the new label says molybdenum on it but yeah it's just 100 percent barley grass juice powder super legit in fact if you put it in chronometer it uh it'll show up daily green boost boom daily green boost let's add two tablespoons and then look at that it's like it instantly gives you a boost on on everything. Sodium, selenium, potassium, mag magnesium, manganese, iron, calcium, vitamin K is through the roof. If you're worried about where you get your vitamin K, dude, two tablespoons of vitamin K, vitamin, sorry, two tablespoons of daily green boost gets you all your vitamin K. Vitamin A through the freaking roof. If you're wondering where to get vitamin A, daily green boost, a couple tablespoons, boom, done. So that's that, tedcarboost.com to get a discount. Tedcarboost.com to get a Discount or you like green it'll save you 10%. Save you 10%. Boom. All right. Peace out. Ciao for now.